Welcome to the 48 Rules of Retirement. Today we examine Retirement Rule number 25, Make Music. Viewers of my suggestion to write a novel to supplement one's income have asked, what about something shorter to make money, something easier? No problem. Instead of a novel, write a song that will climb to the top of the charts and make a ton of cash, allowing you to spend the rest of your retirement in the luxury that you deserve. Because music is ubiquitous and purchased by all age groups, I have given this task much thought. Preliminary research indicates that the feat can easily be accomplished by following the example of famous songwriters. The idea is to borrow, steal, one of their classic tunes as a template, and then change the words around so you don't get sued by their lawyers. If this works, everybody will soon be in on the act, so you must pick an appropriate model, a song that has lasted for ages, a true classic. I've chosen, Hello Goodbye, by the Beatles. Here are some original lyrics. You say, yes, I say, no. You say, stop, and I say, go, go, go. Oh no. You say, goodbye, and I say, hello, hello, hello. I don't know why you say, goodbye. I say, hello, hello, hello. I don't know why you say goodbye. I say hello. I know what you are thinking. You are thinking that Abbott and Costello could have easily worked this song into their, who's on first? Routine. Do you believe it? Those four brash Brits from Liverpool made megabucks writing and singing this kind of silly stuff. And people still love them. So, if you copy their basic rhyming scheme and oppositional lyrics, it should be a piece of cake. Soon, I will be infamous. My spouse will brag about me to her music friends, and they will probably place a wax replica of me in Cleveland's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Here goes. You say, snow. I say, no. You say, whoa. I say, ho, ho, ho. I don't know why you say, snow. I say, hello. See, it's easy. I suppose I'd better start thinking about who I want to hire to record this sure hit, whether I should opt for a male or female singer or perhaps a group. I wonder what the Mormon Tabernacle Choir might do with the lyrics. Maybe I should give them right of first refusal. Of course, they would want to translate it into Latin. You say, ipso facto. I say, curriculum vita. You say, ad hoc. I say, amen. I don't know why you say, ad hoc. I say, amen. Wait a minute, it sounds pretty good in Latin also. Maybe this baby will be translated into several languages, even dead ones. Look out BGs. Here I come. I've got a ticket to ride. Or vice versa. If you don't like the Beatles, try something older like, Papa Loves Mambo, sung by crooner Perry Como. Papa Loves Mambo. Mama Loves Mambo. Look at him sway with it. Gettin' so gay with it. Shoutin', ole, with it. Wow. Ooh. Of course, the word, gay, now enjoys a different connotation, but what the heck. You are retired and entitled to take a few liberties. Here's my version. Papa loves gumbo. Mama loves gumbo. Look at them stir at it. Getting. So gay with it. Gay as a keeper. Shoutin'. Consomme. With it. Wow. Ah. Today's retirement affirmation. I learn to nurture my inner child, a chubby, scurrilous lad who will soon acquire acne. Get ready for retirement rule number 26, soon to come. Thanks for watching.